Okay, now I've got to fully expand this. So I'm going to start off with all of them being two x's. So there'll be two x per four. Plus then there'll be four c one. And I want three of the two x's and just one of the minus three over x squared. That's one. And then plus four c two. I'll have two of the x squareds, of the two x's and then two of the minus three over x squared and then plus four c three just one of the two x now and i'll have three of the second term and then finally all of it will be the second term so that'll be to the power of four now now work out this this is going to be 16x to the power 4 plus 4 times that will be 8x cubed and then times minus 3 over x squared plus 4c2 is 6 times by 4x squared times by negative 3 times negative 3 is 9 over x squared times x squared is x to the power 4 and then plus 4c3 is 4 times by 2x times by negative 27 over x squared cubed so that'll be x squared times x squared times x squared which is x to the power of 6 and finally negative times negative is a positive that's 9 and then I'm going to have to do 9 times 9 so that's going to be plus 81 over and then that will be x to the power of 8 and that equals 16x to the power of 4 uh, that'll be minus uh, minus 96 I've got x cubed over x squared so that'll be 96x and this one here is plus 6 was 19 that'll be 216 and I've got an x and I've got an x to the power of 4 on the bottom so that x will cancel out one of those and leave us with over x cubed well it's not plus is it it's a minus uh, 4 times 2 times 27 is 216 and it's over that, well, that x there cancels out with one of those to leave us with x to the power 5 and then finally plus 81 over x to the power of 8 and that's done